Our goal. The purpose of Emirates American School is to provide a safe, and academically challenging learning environment to meet the students' needs. The school believes in strengthening the academic progress as well as the personal development of students which will contribute to enhance the environmental and social responsibility. Our vision to inculcate and develop 21st century skills in students and enable them to become productive and responsible citizens. Our mission To provide a locally and globally competitive education that enables students to develop 21st century skills. Enhancing career and college readiness and highly elevating responsibilities and patriotism through the effective application of UAE education policies and the latest international teaching and learning strategies. Objectives 1. To promote caring in our society. 2. To use the first read the text skill properly. 3. To answer the given tasks properly. Moral education integration. How to promote caring in our society. Let's watch the following video clip. Always remember, work to develop caring, loving relationships with your friends. Be a strong moral role model and mentor. Make caring for others a priority and set high ethical expectations. Be positive and treat others with respect. Don't let rudeness pass.
About the time the autumn festival was held at the new shrine, the hole filling company established by the concessionaire hung out its small shingle at a shack near the hole. The concessionaire had his cohorts mount a loud campaign in the city. We've got a fabulously deep hole. Scientists say it's at least 5,000 meters deep. Perfect for the disposal of such things as waste from nuclear reactors. So the businessman's plan is to throw trash into the hole. The first one he suggested was waste from nuclear reactions, uh, uh, reactors, which is extremely poisonous uh, to ground and water and whatnot. So he says, hey, let's get rid of it here. So uh, as we go through, I want you to pay attention to the different uh, uh, things that people start to throw in the hole. Government authorities granted permission. Nuclear power plants fought for contracts. The people of the village were a bit worried about this, but they consented when it was explained that there would be absolutely no above-ground contamination for several thousand years, and that they would share in the profits. Into the bargain, very shortly, a magnificent road was built from the city to the village. Trucks rolled in over the road, transporting lead boxes. Above the hole, the lids were opened, and the wastes from nuclear reactors tumbled away into the hole. From the foreign ministry and the defense agency, boxes of unnecessary classified documents were brought for disposal. Officials who came to supervise the disposal held discussions on golf. The lesser functionaries, as they threw in the papers, chatted about pinball. How is the hole used? The hole showed no signs of filling up. It was awfully deep, thought some, or else it might be very spacious at the bottom. Little by little, the hole-filling company expanded its business. Bodies of animals used in contagious disease experiments at the universities were brought out, and to these were added the unclaimed corpses of vagrants. Vagrants means homeless people. Better than dumping all of its garbage in the ocean, went the thinking in the city, and plans were made for a long pipe to carry it to the hole. The hole gave peace of mind to the dwellers of the city. They concentrated solely on producing one thing after another. Everyone disliked thinking about the eventual consequences. People wanted only to work for production companies and sales corporations. They had no interest becoming junk dealers. But it was thought these problems, too, would gradually be resolved by the whole. Young girls whose betrothals had been arranged discarded old diaries in the hole. Marriages. There were also those who were inaugurating new love affairs and threw into the hole old photographs of themselves taken with former sweethearts. The police felt comforted as they used the hole to get rid of accumulations of expertly done counterfeit bills. Criminals breathed easier after throwing material evidence into the hole. Whatever one wished to discard, the hole accepted it all. The hole cleansed the city of its filth. The sea and sky seemed to have become a bit clearer than before. Aiming at the heavens, new buildings went on being constructed, one after the other. One day, atop the high steel frame of a new building under construction, a workman was taking a break. Above his head, he heard a voice shout, Hey! Come on out! But in the sky to which he lifted his gaze, there was nothing at all. A clear blue sky merely spread over all. He thought it must be his imagination. Then, as he resumed his former position, from the direction where the voice had come, a small pebble skimmed by him and fell on past. The man, however, was gazing in idle reverie at the city's skyline, growing ever more beautiful, and he failed to, no to notice. And that's the end.
So what is your interpretation of this story's ending? Think about it, make your selection, and be prepared to talk about it with the class. What does the workman hear at the end of the story? What does the young man shout into the hole? Why do the villagers tell the young man not to throw the pebble into the hole? How is the hole used? What does the workman hear at the end of the story? Have we achieved our objectives? Formative assessment. Kindly sign on to your Pearson account to do the assigned task. And never forget, the Emirates American School is the place of creation where the aspirations and potential of every student are fostered, nurtured, and challenged.